Hi all, in this video we're going to talk about how to interpret the economic magnitude of regression coefficients. So the coefficient on the explanatory variable in your regression reads 0 0.46. What is the economic magnitude or what is the economic significance of that number? So in this case, let's first walk back a step and just understand what we're looking at. So SAR is the size adjusted return. And this is being regressed on SUE. SUE is what's called the analyst earning surprise. And so what that is, is it's the number that the, like the actual earnings announced at the earnings release minus the analyst consensus estimate for what earnings uh, would be oh, divided by the standard deviation of the analyst estimates. So if we then regress this size adjusted return on the um, analyst earning surprise, we get this number 0 0.46. So the question is, what does that mean? Right? What does the 0 0.46 mean? And the answer is that for a 1%, sorry, for a one standard deviation change in the earning surprise. So meaning if the firm beats analyst estimates by one standard deviation, then that corresponds to, or that is associated with a 46 basis point increase in the size adjusted return. And so you might ask, what is the basis point? Well, basis point is one one hundredth of a percent. So if a one standard deviation earnings surprise corresponds to a 46 basis point return, that means that if the firms on it, you know, beat, if the firms beat analyst estimates for earnings by one standard deviation, then on average, their stock price goes up 46 basis points. Okay, so with a p value of 0 0.001, the coefficient is statistically significant, right at the 1% level, right, because this is this is one tenth of 1%. So statistically significant at the one tenth of 1% or at the 1% level. But is it is it economically significant? Is 46 basis points economically significant? And so we have to think about this. So the intercept in the regression of 0 0.003, this means that, so if there's no earnings surprise, right? If earnings surprise is zero, what is, what happens to the stock, right? If they, they come, if analysts get it exactly right, and there's no earning surprise, then what happens to the stock? And the answer is, comes from the intercept. And on average, um, when there's no earning surprise, firm stock price increase three tenths of, of one basis point on average, right? So the three tenths of one basis point. So it's like, okay, well, that's quite a small move, right? Uh, for a zero dollar earning surprise or zero standard deviation earnings surprise. And then so, okay, well, against that backdrop, then a 46 basis point move for a one standard deviation seems pretty large, right? 46 basis points as compared to three tenths of one basis point if there's a zero earnings surprise. Um, but then we have to think, well, stocks on average move about, you know, negative between negative 1% and 1%, 70% of the time on average. Um, and so, the question is, and that's that's for the total stock return, not the size adjusted stock return. And so the question is like, how big is this 46 basis points? And so I would say, even though it's size adjusted, which is different than the, you know, negative 1% to 1%, which is not as adjusted, um, 46 basis points still seems a little bit on the small side. So anyway, that is how you interpret the uh, economic magnitude of a regression coefficient. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks so much. See you in the next video.